What goes on guys, Sarcasm here, and today I have some free-for-all gameplay on the map Interchange, rocking the G36C with holographic sight and kick proficiency. Now pay attention, because this game gets pretty action-packed pretty quick, so you'll notice that I immediately run to a corner of the map, and that's what you want to do at the start of a free-for-all game, because in free-for-all, the way this beginning spawns work is that Everybody is spawned kind of in a location around each other, so you immediately want to try to find another spawn point, and you want to find one of them that has an area that is both high traffic, which means that a lot of people come to this area, and has a lot of cover. So I picked this area for this game because it was close to me. I know there's a spawn over here, and <laughs> um, there's a lot of things that I can use to my advantage as cover, and have you guys been seeing this? I kill this guy on the other side of this green crate and I pull back to reload and he just keeps spawning there. The same thing happens over and over. It's like a vicious chain. But um, this is what happens in this game. So if you kill a guy and you are on a, the other side of the wall next to the spawn zone, then the game doesn't recognize you as being in their spawn zone. So it could still spawn an enemy there. And I was taking advantage of that. Um, this is not a glitch. Yes, I was abusing it, but it is part of the game. It's just the way the spawns work. So, uh, yeah, it's part of the game, and it's all about knowledge. It's all it comes down to. But this does not only happen in free-for-all. This even works in team games. This is just the way the spawns are designed. So keep that in mind because it can be really helpful when you're maybe rushing and you're in the enemy spawn, and it can get you out of a lot of tricky situations. So another thing I want to talk about in this game is... The kill streaks I'm using. So usually you'll catch me running assault, but I like to mix it up and I like to give you guys something fresh, new, and I like to teach you guys new things. So yeah, I'm running support kill streak. I'm running the airdrop trap, stealth bomber, and the escort airdrop. You'll see me put those into good use this game. And let me give you guys a little bit of insight of the strategy. So as you see here, just get my escort airdrop. Now you don't want to call it in right away. There's too many things you want to make sure that you have in the area before you do. You want to make sure it's safe and it's at the edge of a map. And the reason for this is it's safe so obviously it doesn't get stolen. And also the edge of the map. If you call it in, in the edge of the map, then it will come in a lot faster than if you just call it in, in the middle of the map. It will take a lot less time to get to that area. So yeah, definitely do that when you have an escort airdrop. This also applies to care packages, airdrop traps, all that, anything that is delivered to you. So, um, the strategy behind this is I like to call in the escort airdrop, and along with that, I call in the airdrop trap that I saved. And what this does is, with my kill streaks there, all the packages are there, right? Even if I die, like I did here, if they take one of my packages, there's a 2 in 6 chance. That's a 1 third chance. Good math, throw care of them that they get an airdrop trap now I don't like leaving the airdrop trap to chance whether someone's gonna pick it up or not cuz chances are people are smartening up and not that many people are picking up the airdrop traps by themselves anymore but if you group them with an escort airdrop people will know that there are real kill streaks there so sometimes they will go for it so in this game I don't get any of them stolen so that's a plus but uh, it could help in future games just in case so you also saw the stealth bomber. I used that to kind of clear out an area around my setup, my little setup area, just so I have a little bit added protection. Now, you see here, I got the support juggernaut from one of the care packages dropped from the escort airdrop, and I got pretty lucky. Uh, you don't always get ki kill streaks this good, but even if you don't, it's still pretty effective setup in terms of winning the free for all game. It chances are you'll probably get at least one decent kill streak that will help you towards winning the game and the escort airdrop itself is pretty solid in free for all because not that many people will shoot stuff down because they're selfish <laughs> and overall in free for all it's a pretty decent kill streak in terms of controlling an area and the care packages are a bonus so try it out anyway guys game's wrapping up here Just trying to find people in this slow ass juggernaut <laughs> need two more kills to win but Anyway, uh, try this setup out. Leave me some feedback and constructive criticism in the comments below. I'm always trying to improve myself as a commentator, so let me know what I could do better. I hope this video was helpful to you. 
Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Final score 30 and 2. Peace.